Welcome back to our Center of Podcast. I got my co-host Mark here. Hey, I'm Victor. How y'all feeling today, people? We're back how's with another going? episode. Yeah, yes we are. Yes we are. <clears throat> back like we never left. You know what today is, Mark? You know, I just realized on the way over here. Today's motherfucking Ash Wednesday. Ash Wednesday, yes, yes, exactly. <laughs> That's exactly what the day is. I, I had no idea until Twitter told me. Uh, um, yeah. Shout out uh, to uh, religious Twitter. <laughs> Spirit Santa. Shout out to my uh, my mom. She actually told me yesterday, and she wanted to go, but she was like, yeah. Um, Are they doing we, that? I think The church so. is churching, right? Yeah, the church is churching. The church is churching, yes. That's the verb. Um, she wanted to go, but like the only time she would have been able to because she had a doctor's appointment today was like 8 in the morning and she was like I don't even know if I want to get up to go that I don't time. know if I'm feeling that Jesus <laughs> <laughs> she was like I don't know if I want to go and then when I heard that I was like I think I can make it and I had put like 7am for my alarm this morning I looked at the time and I was like <laughs> I laughed I was like yeah <laughs> uh, this is funny alright holla at y'all <laughs> stop <laughs> uh, go back to sleep holla at Jesus later Oh, yeah, when, wait, when does, does that mean Lent starts today? Does that how it work? Mm. Yeah, because it leads up until Easter, right? Is that, but Easter's in April, is that 40? 40 days. What's, it's February. Oh, wait, it might be in March this year, though. It depends on, like, the weekend and shit, right? Welcome to Theology 101. <laughs> no, Freaking... Like, combined, like, 30 years of Catholic school in here, we're both like, uh... <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I know when Christmas is. <laughs> but I think um, Ash Wednesday does, I guess, start it. But, like, yeah, because the day before is Fat Tuesday. But I feel Mardi like... But I feel like it would have said it, like, on the calendar, though. Like, okay. Did you get... Did the St. Peter send you the purple calendar? <laughs> no, no, no. The pink calendar? But, like, even on, like, my phone, like, when I click on today, it says Ash Wednesday. Oh, does it? Yeah, and I'm like... Wow, that's pretty cool. Let's figure that Where's my phone? Mark, where's my phone? Oh, it's over there. <laughs> Your phone. <laughs> we film on my phone, so that's why. I'm like, because... Wait, wrong thing. Okay. So, yeah, as we see, you know, Ash Wednesday. I just want to know, does today start Lent? But that's the thing that I found weird is that it will say Ash Wednesday, but it's not saying Lent. So that's why I'm like, do is you, it today? Do you Googles? Um, but yeah, today is Ash Wednesday. I haven't gotten ashes in a minute. I probably got it like one of my years in college, but that was about it. Um, yeah, I have a feeling my dad's probably going to get it today because he's like pretty religious. He's and, pretty religious guy. And yeah, and my grandfather's going to make fun of it because he's not religious at all. Every time he sees us with ashes, even when we were in the St. Peter's, he would say we have dirt on our foreheads. That's Every cool. time. <laughs> it's that dirt on your head. <laughs> yeah, basically. You take a shower today? It's like, all right. <laughs> all right, bro, you good? It has to be. Let me see. I didn't, honestly, I didn't check uh, Google, but like, it has to be because Easter is. What was he doing? You checking Instagram? What are you doing? No, I was just checking the fucking calendar. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> when is Lent? Or when does Lent start, at least? Because I got to figure out what I'm giving up, bro. And what's today? 17th, right? No, wait. Is it? Yes, it is. How are you guys yes. doing today? Yes, it is. Today, it starts today? Yep. Look at that. <laughs> Giving up bread again. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I will starve myself Did you already mess that up today? Have you ever, no. Have you had bread today? I haven't eaten a single thing today. So. What is wrong with you? Oh, my God. Got water here. <laughs> we're good. We're just going to go right through it. Um, Giving up food for Lynn now. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't even know. I'm, I'm honest. I, I, never, like, I don't think anybody ever sticks to it. I don't even think my dad knows. Last year, damn, it's been a year since then. Last year, my dad gave up, like, meat. I was, like, basically went vegan for a month, or vegetarian for a month for 40 days. That shit was torture for him. <laughs> he's like, oh. he's like I, he literally, he's like, yo, I feel so weak. <laughs> damn, yo, that sounds so real. I feel so weak. But what I, I can't was, do anything. But he, like, didn't replace it with anything, you know? Like, you yeah. need to replace that shit with something. But, um, yeah, so today's Lent. Um, probably not going to get my ashes. All for y'all that don't understand, um, every year before, you know, Jesus comes back 40 days before, we uh, get some ashes, some uh, palm ashes on our forehead. Looks like a cross, or at least it tries to look like a cross. Usually it's just somebody just like, ma. I think, I, I think after the first <laughs> session. Some, after a priest the, jabs you with a thumb. <laughs> basically, a I think after like the first session of, uh, you know, Lent get, or ash giving, I think the, the priest just gets tired. <laughs> and it's just like, all right. I know, it's like, yo, my thumb hurts, It's like a bro. stamp. It's like a stamp, basically, on your forehead. Because like, I, I, I be seeing some, and it'll let they be taking their time. You know, that don't be looking like. Mm. Okay, 
Picasso. And I'm like, all right, bet. And then when I look in the mirror, it's just like somebody just smacked my forehead with their. My thing was, I was always forgetting, like, yo, my forehead itchy. I'm like, facts. Shit. Facts. I'll be like, damn. I think I did it in high school at one point, too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, you know and, I, and I remember that. I touched my forehead and I was like, oh. <laughs> Perfect timing, too, because I was telling you, I was trying to figure out what that would have talked about, because we literally recorded like a couple of days ago. I'm like, yo, like, what material do we have? Went on Twitter. Great place for content. You know what's back, bro? I'm going to just keep asking you these questions. Keep doing this to me. I'll do it as soon as you know. Do you know? No. You don't know? No. Ebola's back, bro. There's another outbreak. Oh, my God. I'm so serious. <laughs> I'm on Twitter like, what's going on? I see these people in hazmat suits. So I'm like, yeah, there's another, like, the first Ebola outbreak since 2016. I'm like, yeah, like, we're, we're done. I'm kind of laughing because, like, I really wasn't expecting that. <laughs> like, I was, you thought it was going to be good news. <laughs> exactly. You know, it's back. I'm like. You made uh, a comeback. You know? I'm like, I don't know. Is there, like, an, an, a sandwich that came back at McDonald's or something? We got, we got an Ebola outbreak before we got another Kendrick album. It's been that long. <laughs> like, it's 2016. Now we're back. We got another outbreak. Damn. Kendrick, where you at? Um, and Frank Ocean, mm-hmm. both of them. Yep. And Rihanna. When was the last time Rihanna dropped? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> she. I think she does makeup and like uh, she sells underwear or something like that. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a beautiful woman. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, some other thing that's going on. And oh, man, so that's another. Humans are gonna <laughs> just be extinct at this point. Yeah, yeah, we're kind of we're kind of pushing it. But did they say where it was at? Like, where did they? It was it? in Africa. I forgot what country though. Uh, specific. It was a very specific country. I don't want to say the wrong one and be like fucked up. So yeah, but plus I don't have my phone. Um, but yeah, yeah, it's just scary, bro. That's crazy. No, I mean it's not over here yet. But like at the same time, I had you we, we said <laughs> we said the same thing about coronavirus. Like oh, because it's, it's in like, China, we cool. Because it's like you think about it, but it's like okay, but when did they find out that it was an outbreak? You also know? true. So it's but like also, somebody could have already came in over here from true. Being but also with the situation we're in, like travel still lighter than usual. That's true, but who knows? Like maybe and like the world don't be fucking with us, Loki, right now. Nobody's really letting us in unless you're like Mexico and like. Puerto but what Rico. if it happened like even over a year ago? You know what I'm saying? Like maybe it just didn't show as yeah, much. but I mean but it is well that's the thing kind like, of a crazy it's, disease it's an, to not notice you know it's an outbreak it's not like it's not like it never went away like we've been having Ebola outbreaks since like the 90s like if you watch like old that's Martin true. episode they talk about Ebola like it's not anything new um it's just yeah like probably cases are flying around but like it it's, the reason they call it outbreaks because like a mass amount at the same time have come out yeah I'm just thinking like well maybe probably like the government just didn't want to say anything maybe yeah or something else deeper is going on and they just Ebola's back, guys. True. And they're just trying to cover up COVID. And people think, okay, Ebola wasn't that bad. You know, we got through it. But it is. It's like, guys, look. Ebola's back. We're putting chips in your food so you guys have, like, trackers inside of you. <laughs> and then, there you go. And now they know where we're at every point of the day. They already do. but It yeah. is true as well. Shout out phones. Apple watches. Shout out the government, man. <laughs> yeah. This turns into a conspiracy podcast. <laughs> they're out, that they're outside. <laughs> <laughs> they're listening to us right now. Yeah, they they're making us <laughs> make you watch us. Uh, there's a man. There's literally a window. There's a man by this window right here pointing a gun at me. Well, they see it through this view. So. Yeah, he's standing right there. You can't really see him because it's covered, but he's watching. He's telling me to keep smiling. <laughs> he's in my ear through these headphones. He's he told me to stop pointing at him. <laughs> <laughs> he's telling me right now that we need to switch the subject. Yeah. Like, otherwise, we're dead after this. Yeah. yeah. And then also, should I even? Th- I don't know. I won't keep jumping topics, but like I literally was just like, yo, like I don't know what to talk about. Let me hit up the internet because the internet's great for that. The internet. Um, I'm gonna do this again. You know what? You saw what happened. Somebody's yeah. moving. Is it you? <laughs> no, 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 no. Uh, I'm like... You may know about this because you follow this stuff more than I do, but uh, on the way here, I saw that Logan Paul announced that he's moving to Puerto Rico. I'm so dead ass. That low-key just made me mad. <laughs> I'm 100% dead ass. That just low-key made me mad. Like, what? He posted, like, I guess his, what's his, what's this podcast called? Imp- Imposter or something like that? I think, yeah. But, um, he's like, yeah, like, it's like the thumbnail is like a heart, 
of like California flag and it's like X and then the heart with like the Puerto Rican flag is like oh I'm moving to Puerto Rico like the whole podcast is moving over there you know this is and I okay this is the issue I have with it all right, a lot of people that I see with money are like obviously moving to these warmer places because they have the money, you know, and they can live there. I understand it. But like they just be taking it too far to this point where I'm just like, OK, you're moving to a place that you have no like, I guess, connection with as much. Like my, my question is to why is it just because of weather? You know, um, I, so I, was, I, so I was thinking the same thing. So basically. My thinking is, one, I've seen a big trend in, like, obviously people move to L.A. and shit. And I feel like that's low-key dying out. It is. Because I'm seeing a lot of people, either they go back to where they originally are from, one. Two, they move to somewhere that's kind of, like, not as popular or just, like, mid, like literally, like, middle of nowhere. Like, people move to, like, Wyoming and, like, shit like that, like Kanye. Or Texas, I've seen a lot of. I've seen a big it's move. It's fucking to, freezing right now. Uh, yeah, that's that's <laughs> all, other news that I didn't realize I was talk, and we need to talk about. But um, so yeah, so that's a big thing I've been seeing. Like people either go back to where they're from, or like places that like it's cheap to live in. Because if you think about it, like internet jobs, they don't like you know like say like being a a nurse in Philly versus being a nurse in New York. It's two different pays because the cost of living in those places is so much different. Yeah. If you work the internet, it's just kind of like you make what you make. Yeah. And you kind of get by however. So if people move to LA and it's like, damn, like I'm wasting all this money for what? Or I could live somewhere dumb cheap, like in Wyoming, get all this land and be to myself and do whatever, get my internet and make way more than what I what requires me to live exactly. there. There's so, a lot of places that are like that. In, te- in Texas, yeah. is like... Texas like 250 like grand. Those, Texas is one of those places. You could get like double staircases, high ceilings, like crazy mansion looking houses that you would have to pay like five mil for in LA. Yeah. That's why I said, I'm like, yo, if there was a place to move. Well, me personally, I don't know why I just love this place. I would love to move to Nevada. It's like kind of the same situation. And it's not LA. It's close to it and it has good weather, but it's not LA. So that's yeah. pretty cool. And Texas is one of them. And yeah. There's just a lot of those places that you don't think of, I guess. That are like, they have big cities. Yeah, they have big cities, but not, I guess... It's just not New York City or LA. Yeah, it's not one of those named places that you think, okay, it's associated with being big. It's not those Hollywood-ass places. Yeah. so that's kind of why people don't really think of it that way, but... Yeah. So back to it, I just, I, I just, I, I'm guessing it's the weather is the reason why well, you... <laughs> so I have a couple of things I want to say about it, basically, even though I've already been talking. Um... Uh, so one warm weather obviously you know he doesn't really see much of a change two boxing his whole thing has been boxing and Puerto Rico's a pretty big like boxing like country but type like, of thing almost like Mexico in a sense I mean I guess or like Dominican Republic that's another thing and then three it's, it's not in good shape right now so it's pretty cheap taking advantage of it yeah, yeah. I just think like, okay, so take, I mean, I would say taking advantage of that, that's probably, I guess, a good reason. But again, that's still associated with just weather and just kind of taking advantage of it. Um, Boxing, I just think of it as to like, I'm guessing he's hoping to get better. I don't don't know. Like, I don't really see like kind of like him going there to box is really like going to really do anything as far as, I I don't know. I I just don't see what it's actually like. And he's getting away from the bullshit of L.A. I mean, that's fine, but I just think why... Which I thought he kind of encouraged, Rico. but like, uh-huh. he likes that shit, but I don't know. Or he he he's made his career off of that shit. Um, only other thing... One thing I have a major issue with is, like, how he goes about it. So if he just does his podcast and whatever, like, he keeps it normal. But if he's going to go to this small island that's been hit by, like, multiple hurricanes, been, like, torn apart... Crime rate is insane. Coronavirus is fucked up the island in general. They're kind of, you can go over there for like $50 right now to mm-hmm. vacation just because they need the money to build up the economy again. Mm-hmm. It's a struggling country. It's not like some paradise. Like it is paradise, but in terms of like for the people who normally live there, it's who in are shambles. All like the time, yeah. Some people don't have, some people's houses are still in wrecks or like they lost there. They're still rebuilding. Trust Unemployment's me, crazy. Yeah, I've seen like it. it's just in bad shape. And to go over there and, like, say this guy pulls up with his camera and starts, like, pranking people that live there and doing all this bullshit, like, that's going to irk the shit out of me. Personally, because that's, like, my people. Yeah. And two, it's just annoying in general. And also, like, I don't want him to make it this thing of, like, him making fun of people that 
speak Spanish or anything like that. I don't do. I don't want to say any of that bullshit. It's gonna like burn me up. Well, that's the thing that's, that you say that because that was the same situation where he went to uh, was it Japan? Yeah, like I don't want to see none of that shit. It's yeah. gonna piss me off. Yeah, I want to be like, oh, look, relax, Pablo. I'm just like doing a prank. Yeah. Like I'm gonna sock this. Like first off, anybody there will sock the shit out of you. It's, it's not LA. True. Yeah, you know, and it's not Japan where, where people it's are a lot two more different. Two different languages completely, yeah. so they might not know what you're saying. Like Puerto Ricans know what you're saying, <laughs> yeah. you know? Like they, they know like the idea of okay, you got a camera. I mean, a lot of people know, but like they'll, they'll they know a tourist mm. when they see it, and they'll beat the shit out of you. Like, come on. Don't get disrespectful. They will clock your shit. <laughs> Don't get mm -hmm. shot trying to like do some weird prank on somebody. Exactly. I mean, yeah, that's why I just I don't that's yeah. When I think of them basically going there, I'm just like, okay, what's your real purpose? But again, if it's just to do what you say you want to do, like, that's fine. But, you know, again, like, if you're saying to, like, especially do that to get away from the bullshit, like, actually do it. Cause, yeah, don't disrespect the culture, though. Like, you did yeah, in fucking in Japan, was there, Tokyo, think, that yeah, forest? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, or, like, even when he was, like, traveling in those vlogs. I've never watched his full videos, but I've seen clips of, like, him going through markets and stuff. And yeah, just I've seen being it too. weird. Like, I've seen it, too. He literally just goes up to people and just like you're being a dick. just be, like, yeah. rude to me. I'm just like, bro, is this necessary? <laughs> like... It's like, like what? what? I don't understand what you're saying. It's yeah. like, all right, like, yo, like, fuck you. Like, all like, the way, fuck you. Like, I don't, like, damn, to get content. I just think that's crazy. It's a decent like, Is, it, is, that, is like it their that. fault that you don't speak another language? They know, you're, they know, most likely they know English and Japanese or whatever language that they're speaking. Yeah. And you want to be a dick and be like, what? I, I don't understand. How much is it? Oh. And try to steal something. You know what's crazy, though? I kind of have more respect for Logan Paul very recently. And the person I don't have more respect for is his younger brother, who I just kind of I think is just even worse than him than him now. Like recently, he's just Logan Paul has just been more you know like kind of more outspoken and kind of more like you know level headed. Yeah, than how he was before when he was just kind of being like that kid who just wanted attention, and like you can see it more. And it was kind of like it was funny because the person I kind of watch on YouTube more um, is KSI, which is the person he fought mm -hmm. in boxing, and I watch him more and. You know, it was funny because he was saying that ever since he just beat him in that match, he just, for some reason, he seems like he's just more now level-headed yeah. and just more, like, you know, in intertwined with, like, himself and just being more respectful and everything like that. So I kind of have more respect for him about, you know, certain things. But, you know, his, his younger brother is just kind of, like, out the window. Like, Isn't he doing, did, wasn't he doing dumb shit during, like, the L.A. riots or something like that? Like, wasn't he, like, robbing so. malls or, like, just... Yeah. And he's just. And then he have like a party during like peak like quarantine or something like that. I believe so. Like his his younger brother is just on some shit, bro. Jake Jake Paul is on yeah. Like he, he even right now he I don't know if it's ended right now I guess or like you know if he's still trying. But from last I heard he's trying to get to fight like Conor McGregor. Oh, is that it? Might have been Jake that's moving to Puerto Rico. I might be wrong. Oh, I don't know if you have like your phone. You can check it on Twitter real quick if you want. Cause I they honestly look too very similar. If I know one has longer hair. The older Where did you find it? You just Twitter trending. It was okay. on there. just like Logan Paul pops up. Or yeah. if you just type in Logan Paul, I'm sure it'll come up. But um, yeah, I, I definitely, that's my biggest fear with all of that. And also another thing, like, I don't, I mean, it's like a double-edged sword of like, maybe Puerto Rico becomes a new place where like all these content creators move to. Mm -hmm. And even though that'll bring, depending on who moves there, a lot of bullshit. It also bring a lot of money and like growth to the area if they're like living there and probably buying these expensive ass houses and you know just kind of making yeah. that thing. I think it's Logan actually instead. Like it is Logan. Like you were right the first time. Okay. Yeah. Does it say any like? Do you see like a short reason why at all? Because I'm trying to like I don't know what the fuck. Uh, let me see. All I saw was the tweet. So I just really hope it's. If, I'm hope it's for, like I don't. I don't really care as long as it's for the good reason. A good reason. I don't really see anything. It's Maybe it's clickbait. Maybe I'm completely wrong and he just made that shit up. Yeah, I don't but say anything. Everybody's like, oh, people have mixed feelings about him moving to Puerto Rico. I'm like, okay. <laughs> okay. Whatever you say, buddy. Like I said, I don't know. But, you know, like like I said, like for me, Logan Paul is like, I can, from what I've seen, he hasn't really done anything too, like, you know, really crazy at the moment for the past, like, year or so to really, like, make me think he would do anything like that stupid like he did before. But Jake on the other hand. It's like, just so cringy, like, because I, I think it is Jake that I'm thinking of. It's like, there's, like, a video of him on the beach, and he bought, like, a plane that, like, said, like, oh, like, McGregor, you're a pussy or something like that. Like, fight me. 
Yeah. And like, obviously it's probably one of his friends that runs up with his phone. He's like, bro, he's like, did you see that? And he's on his phone. He's like, oh yeah, that guy's a fucking bitch. And then just like, I'm like, yo, like it's so clear. You're just trying to get like, do the typical thing of like an actual boxer who like tries to get the other person mad. Right. But it's so forced that it's just like, yo, you don't see, unless you're like a, seven-year-old like you don't like yeah see the and shit. and i think that i even heard that like he was even like trying to um like antag like, i guess like yeah even antagonize. i think he said some shit about it like his wife as well like, mm -hmm. or something like that and it was like bro like you're Relax. really <laughs> like like you're really like, he will actually kill you like you're really going as far as to do this much to get attention to get him to try to fight you for what like it's just i don't know and and of course it's like you're like, it's the same shit again, but it wasn't like it was kind of forcing it. I don't know. But I remember the whole thing with, you know, Mayweather and McGregor, like that whole thing, like, you know, you brought a guy who does kickboxing basically mm -hmm. into a boxing match. It's kind of the same situation where you're trying to bring this guy out of his element to your element because you know you're better at it. And it's like, okay, well, let's, let's, why don't you bring go to his element? Yeah. <laughs> Watch him kick the shit out of him. Good as you may think you are, like, he's already fought Mayweather. Like, his, he's probably a lot better than you think and exactly. not probably he definitely is better than you think exactly and it's just that idea of like yo like this man's been doing this for years like you've just started doing it like like you literally a year and not even because you like you love boxing it's literally because like it's I've, just been like and i and i feel like really it's because your older brother kind of got yeah into like now you're just like following it like oh there, there's money in this let me just rock yeah this out. like and, it's, it's bringing the attention and it's like okay my name brings money and it's like yeah but cool. You could literally, like, at this point, he has such a following. You can do whatever you want and still make money. I don't get why you gotta, like, continue this bullshit. I don't know. I don't know. Meanwhile, like we're, I said, we're here struggling. Maybe we need to start boxing some people. Let's just do it. Let's go to Puerto Rico. <laughs> <laughs> let's fight him. Let's, let's fight him. <laughs> you know, let's start. Let's get on our diet. Let's uh, start doing some training. And uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe that's what it will take for us to take off. Yeah. Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Like I said, I have no issue really right now with like Logan. It's kind of just Jake where I'm just like, I see things and I hear things. I'm just like, there's some, like, like, he's he's like our age. And I'm like, you really like doing stuff like this? Like, I just think it's crazy. To, that should be throwing me off too. Like when I'll be like watching these people where I figure out how old they are. Or, like, and even like there's athletes or actresses or actors. I'm like, oh, like they that age, man. That's weird. Yeah, that's but great. even these, some of these YouTubers, same thing. Like, yo, like, if anything, they're probably one or two years older, mm -hmm. at the very least. But like, and I just think, like, damn, like, you're so young. I just feel like you're doing something right now that's really unnecessary. That I would probably expect somebody who's at an older age to do because they're kind of dying out. It's like, bro, you're so young. You have so much more potential. Like, don't yeah. taint, don't taint your name now, and kind of like make it worse for you at the end. Like, already going on. It's like he's he, he's trying to act like his career is ending, like right now, even though he's probably like at his peak. Like, exactly. It's, like, it's just like it's like it's like when a uh, famous person goes on like Dancing with the Stars. It's like <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like are you? Are, it's, it's kind it's of like it's like, like we get like last. we get we get why you're here. You know, let's, let's have some fun. Yeah. But you know, this is it for you. We're yeah, gonna, we're gonna judge you when you're cha cha, and we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna judge you when you're cha cha. We're gonna give you a nice little six. <laughs> but you know, don't expect don't expect to win. Is what yeah. we're saying. You know, um, but yeah, I don't see why he needs to kind of like try to make it seem like his, his career is ending you know it's kind of just starting like don't ruin it for yourself now you know i don't know if that's what if that's what his goal is you know if i feel like he kind of wants to stay at like his peak but it's like bro like, you don't gotta, no one no one can stay at their peak you know it's it's all gonna end there's Trust always a, there's always a, a top and a bottom like you're not yeah you know it, it sucks to say that but yeah you know like, everybody has their high moment it's like it's great you know but the only thing you got to do is not let it get to your head, which I feel like, okay, that's what hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. It's doing, he's like, okay, yeah, this is what it feels like. Let me constantly keep doing dumb shit and see if it works out. If it doesn't, well, I can still keep doing dumb shit because I have people that like this shit. Yeah. It's that and yeah. drugs. Yeah. I feel like there's a lot of drugs in there. Yeah. A part of me, like yeah. I think about this all the time. Like I don't really necessarily want to be like super famous. Like I don't care about that, but I want to be in those rooms and see. Like I, I want to know the inside true, shit. True, true. Yeah, yeah. You want to like, know exactly. Like how... I want to know who's on coke. Like who's doing well. Who's banging who. I want to know all that little shit. Like, I don't care. I want to know the bochincha. I don't want to know. <laughs> yeah, I yeah. I don't want to be a part of it. I just want to know. Like I want to be in that room to know. Okay, this person did this to that. They slept with this. They encouraged them to do that drug. 
and now they're mad at that person. It's like, yeah. okay, wow. <laughs> like Shit. all the little dramas, like, did you know, like, that Tyga had to sell his Bentley? Like, he's going broke. Like, oh God, he's fucking going broke. Wow. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I couldn't, it couldn't be me. <laughs> I want to know the little weird shit like that. Like, just the little, like, little gossip. Bro, and yeah, I think like, it's pretty tough. Like, Rihanna and Will Ferrell, like, banged. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> How like what, bro? Like, <laughs> bro, I'd be really like, wow. I'm like, I'm like, stop fucking. Yeah, I just because I know they do weird shit. Yeah, I want to know the weird little that's Hollywood was, shit. That's what I was about to say. I'm like, yo, it'd be pretty cool, like tough to really sit in a room with a bunch of like famous people and just see how conversations yeah. just go. Like, what is their go to like conversation? And I'm completely fine with being the like, you know, when they take videos of this shit, I'm completely fine with being the guy in the back. I was like, yo, who the fuck is that guy? Why is he there? Like, I don't sure. care. I'm I, I want to be that guy just so I can hear the shit. I'm next to Whole Kyle time you Jenner. I'm like, I'm chilling, bro. I'm going to be on my phone just like listening to all this shit. Like, yeah, I'm exactly. just playing Candy Crush. Like, he's like, right, right. Meanwhile, I'm sitting next to fucking Kylie Jenner with fucking Travis Scott over there. Somehow Jay Z's over there yeah. in the corner. Um, you know, you got all these other people. Got, Rocky and Juju Smith Schuster. And, and, and I got fucking shit. Elon Musk over there. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, fucking Grimes and, and like R two D two hair. You got everybody. Like it's random as shit. But for some reason, that's literally famous people in a nutshell. Like you got the most randomest famous people yeah. all in a room together. They have no professions. Have nowhere like linked at all. The other, just, the other day, I, just was, I think it was Kylie that she released like a tequila or some shit, mm-hmm. and she was like. Uh, I guess she was, they were like celebrating with a bunch of her friends and she came out her camera like oh like saying like oh like we did it like this is the bottle and everybody's like applauding her and it's fucking uh, Rico from Hannah Montana <laughs> Jaden Smith mm-hmm, I saw Jaden Smith I think her I think Kendall and like some other people but like I just it's like that random ass like yo why do y'all all know each other why, why are we here or also like you think about like Tyler Creator Taco like the, his friend Taco and like Kendall Jenner Mad Close mm-hmm. Jaden Smith all those people like I just want to know what be happening there like I know they all fucked each other I just know it <laughs> yeah, I know I know like it. Travis Scott and like fucking ASAP like bang like just weird shit like that bro it's who's it's, on the low who's out here like just doing all that little shit I know it's out there bro and if anybody knows please tell me because even like from DJ some Khaled, from <laughs> from the little shit that from some people that I know that like know celebrities or like date celebrities or just have like in their DM celebrities that they'll tell them shit or they hang out with them. Mm. I've heard shit already, and like, um, I don't I don't know how true it is because I'm not in those rooms. But then again, you see shit how it was with like Tori and Megan. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, that shit. See, I want to be in that shit. <laughs> Imagine me. I imagine be, being Kylie in the back seat, just like I want to. Yes, I want to be the awkward. Like I want me and you to be back in somebody's Range Rover, just like bro. Like, <laughs> yo, you're trying to dip like bro. that shit, bro, 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 bro. He's reaching for his gun, bro. He's reaching for his gun, bro. Why is the door locked? Why is the child locked? Why is it, bro? Come on, come on. Hello, <laughs> back door. <laughs> Someone hear me, please. Yo, I want to be in that shit. Like, oh my god. Just imagine shit. These girls. But yeah, like I've heard stories like that, like certain celebrities you would never think that like these girls or like these guys have been around. And like since I heard that little bit, I know it's worse. True. And the people that like I've heard stuff about are like not as famous. So I know if you, like the more money you make and the more famous you are, the weirder it gets. Yeah, this is true. Just true. Think about what like Jeff Bezos. That's what I'm, yo, bro, I know he does some weird shit. Bro. Yo, like, you see I the way he looks, it. bro? Bro, he looks the like. Way I, the, way I, the way I, I swear. When I look at him, I'm like, he looks like a fucking evil villain. Like, bro, I oh, like, God. He has so much money. I put everything that I own. He, under his house, he has a lair where he's trying to become Iron Man. Or <laughs> he don't. I know it. There's yes, no way. Bro. You don't, know you, don't have that, at, you don't have that much money and don't try to become Iron Man. Bro, when I look at him, I'm like, bro, there's something more to him. Like, there's not just, him okay. and like fucking Mark Zuckerberg. Like, you ever look at that man? He yeah. looks like he doesn't have a soul. Yeah, I know basically. he's, I don't know, man. But that fucking Jeff Bezos, he just, he's a fuck, I'm pretty sure he's half robot, yeah. He's and he's leaving, and he's dropping down at CEO is Amazon. So he probably got all this free time. He's probably ready to <laughs> yeah. save the world. There you go. There you go. There he's it making is. the Avengers. There it is. He's got these people like in his basement, like putting them with like different fluids him and shit and to like turn them into the Hulk. Fucking yeah, him and Elon Musk. I'm telling you, it's like Captain America and Iron Man right there. Wow, <laughs> they're, they're ready. They're ready to go. They're just like we just got to recruit the people. 
And, and they're just going to make their own villains just because. Yeah, yeah, they have to, yeah. Just random little people. It's going to be like Charlie Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> so that's a villain. And they won't they won't they won't save the, the real problems here like you know global warming and pollution. <laughs> They'll just make their own problems that have yeah. nothing to do with that will cause more of it. Like Jeff, like Jeff Bezos is gonna build a crazy meteor, send it out, have Elon send it back into <laughs> yeah, the earth. Exactly. And he's gonna break it and like save us. And everyone's like, oh my god, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos did that. Oh my god. It's Amazon man. <laughs> it's Amazon man. He has this, this, this smile on his chest. On his chest. <laughs> I'm like, yes, I did it. I'm like, yo, what is this fucking world coming to? I'm like, I'm not going to raise my kid where they fucking say Amazon man. <laughs> like, I'm not, I'm not, yo, I'm not. Oh my god, Amazon man. <laughs> I can just imagine the videos. Oh my god, <laughs> look at him, girl. It's a bird. It's a plane. No, it's Amazon Prime. <laughs> it's Amazon Prime. And Tesla Lord. Oh my god, Tesla Lord. Um, yeah. Famous Musk people. man. Musk man. That sounds kind of dirty. <laughs> he <laughs> must stay. <laughs> <He> must- <laughs> that's the villain. That's his villain. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, his, villain. that's his alter ego. Yeah. <laughs> Musk man. Damn. That was funny. And then he has his son too, so you know that's his prodigy right there. Yeah, he's gonna be like he's gonna spend all this time like out being a villain that his son gonna actually become a villain. True. I'm like, yo, my dad never took care of me. It's like it's uh the incre- Mr. Incredible. It's gonna rub off, yeah. It's like Mr. Incredible, and he like told that one, he's like, ah, like I was get away his kid. fan, you know. And then forward slash R2D2 3345, <laughs> he just gets all upset. And like, <laughs> <laughs> True. And then he's you know. He's out here destroying shit like high key. I'm telling you, if the world ever gets to that point, bro, I'm just done. I'm done. If the world ever gets to that point, bro, I'm pretty much done. Yeah. Yo, like on some real stuff, like on some real shit. Can y'all please get us like that famous so we get into these rooms? I swear, yo, if that happens. We will we will definitely record at least like like, we'll record a session for you. Like, <laughs> bro, I'll tell every story I don't got. Yes, yes. Like, I will record it secretly on my phone and we'll, leak something. We'll keep our peak, you know? And then, like, once we realize, like, oh, shit, we're losing our clout. That's when we drop our episode and we dip out. Or we write a book. We, tell, we write a book about the whole thing. True. Anonymous. That'd be fire. I'd love to read a book like that. It'd be anonymously, but, I, but I'm pretty sure everybody would know what's up. Yeah, what's up. I would love to write. I would love to read a book about that stuff, like or even like from rappers or from anybody really. Like I know this one girl. I think her name is Brittany Renner on Instagram. She like wrote us a, a book about like all the like famous guys she hooked up with and all this other stuff, and like she wow. used like different names, but it didn't do too well, and it was weird. Like I don't know. I don't know what happened with it, but like I want to read stories like that. I like, got to her. I want to know the little shit. <laughs> So please share this episode with a friend. Spread it like wildfire. Not not to like go even further with this. Like I, I'm gonna end it, but like imagine because you know like it's famous people too. So you got like you know songwriters, you know artists, all this type of stuff. But then you also got like the politicians, bro. They like, get weird, bro. Like they get old. That's even weird. that's even weirder because they're rich, famous, and old. All right, what's that? <laughs> what's that? Like, I'm so serious, bro. What's that? They get freaky. Um, but yeah, please share this episode. I want to get to that tier of like famousness oh. and just be out here. But where can they find you, Mark? I'm nervous now. <laughs> you can find me on Instagram. Down on my forehead. <laughs> right? oh, shit, the guy's still Mark, out there. Up. Mark. The guy's still out there. We said too much. Follow me Instagram. <laughs> ETC Marky Mark, Twitter Marky Mark, uh, Twitch at <laughs> MC Marky Mark. Victor, we're going to find you and Real Etc. Find me on Instagram and Twitter, ETC Victor, as well as Twitch and TikTok. Uh, you can find Etc. stuff at Real Etc. Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, Apple Music, Spotify, all of that. Our email is real. Et cetera, gmail.com. Go ahead and say what you want to say, Mark. This water tastes funny. So <laughs> 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 just all right. We love you all. We'll see you next week, maybe. Um, bye. <laughs>